So you're picking a new insulin pump. How exciting is that? Insulin pumps have come a long way and are more advanced than ever. And we have more choice than ever before. So how do you pick the right one? Well, in this video, I will talk you through how I approach picking an insulin pump. Hey all, I'm Nerdbetic and I've been making videos about diabetes technology for close to three years now. It's been quite a while. Um, let me begin this video by making it very, very, very clear that I am not a healthcare professional. Please consult your healthcare provider if you want to make changes to your therapy or otherwise. So how do I pick my insulin pump? So let's start with taking a blank piece of paper and writing down a list of all insulin pumps available to you. This step might require a phone call to your insurance provider or your diabetologist. If you live in the US, for example, Liz is likely to have a Metronic pump, such as 670G, a Tandem, and an Omnipod. For example, in Europe, the list is more likely to be much longer, with three pumps from Roche, Solo, Combo, and Insight, a patch pump from Kaleido, pumps from Dana, Metrum, and Yopsomed. Obviously, availability and access depends widely on where you are. When I have my list, I use what I call Cody approach to find out some key information and answer the most important questions. Cody stands for CGM or glucose, overriding factors, design, and insulin infusion. So for glucose, how are you currently measuring your blood glucose level? Or how are you going to measure it once you get an insulin pump? For example, Metronic's insulin pump links with Asensio's Contour Next meter. So you can actually bolus using your meter, which links to your pump. For Metronic pumps, it's Metronic CGM. For Dana or Tandem, it's Dexcom CGM. Oh, sorry, that's the wrong generation Dexcom. G6, you can use that one. Overriding factors are things that I personally consider top priority and so obviously this list is very personal to me and it'll be very personal to you as well but to give you an example for me one of my major overriding factors is a DIY lupin so um, my list of pumps that I, I would pick um, is reduced to pumps that I can loop with. Also if this is your first insulin pump think about the reason why you are getting one in the first place. What was the thing that made you or your healthcare team suggest starting an insulin pump therapy? D is for design and the most important question here is tubed or patched? Tubed pumps look like this and they have infusion sets which are different lengths, shorter or much longer. They are attached to your body using clip-ons. Tubeless or a patch pump is attached to your body separately. For example, this is uh, Roche's um, Solo and this is Inchlet's Omnipod. They are controlled using a separate remote, such as this, that communicates wirelessly with the pump itself. Beyond tubed or tubeless, think about the design in general. How does this device look? Uh, you're going to be using this pump for approximately four years. That is actually quite a long period of time. To put that into perspective, on average, we change our jobs every 4.2 years. So think about, do I like how this device looks? I use for insulin infusion, so I want to check that the insulin that I am currently using is approved for the insulin pump that I am currently considering. So after going through Cody, you might find that some pumps are an absolute no-no and some pumps might stand out. And that is the whole point. Next, think outside the box about insulin pump therapy. Um, so, uh, personally, a very important part of picking an insulin pump for me is knowing how much stuff I need to carry with me every day. So, obviously, this will really depend on your therapy and what's, what you do in your diabetes management. But um, this is what I pack, carry with me. I'm on Omnipod at the moment. And this has two spur Omnipods, um, cables, batteries, um, my insulin pen, spare insulin, uh, my med angel, um, and some hypo treatments. Um, and this is what I carry with me every day, uh, all the time. 
So I think it's quite important to know how much stuff you will need to carry with you. If you want to get a better idea of um, what other uses of the pump that you're considering are uh, carrying with them on a daily basis, just go to Instagram, Facebook or Twitter or any social media and type hashtag and the name of the pump that you are considering and you'll be able to find some great pictures very, very quickly of what people carry with them on a daily basis and that should give you a good idea of um, what um, they carry with them. Also, beyond the box, think outside the luggage. Um, if you travel a lot for business, for example, um, you will obviously carry uh, your pump supplies with you to your hand luggage. And if you combine that with your CGM supplies and maybe some other diabetes supplies, it might add up to quite a sizable part of your luggage. So think about how much um, volume you need to take with you. So this is, for example, Omnipod. This is Medtronic. Um, so yeah, think outside the luggage if you travel a lot. Now next, shortlist it down to top two, maybe three pumps and reach out to at least one user of those pumps. You might be like, oh, how do I reach out to someone who's using that pump? Well, simple. You go on Instagram or Twitter and you just type hashtag and the name of the insulin pump that you are considering and just hit someone's DMs. Ask them about things that you simply won't be able to find online. How is their customer service? Has their pump ever failed? If yes, how did the company respond to it? Now, you don't have to ask them all of these questions. These are just some of my suggestions. But I would recommend asking the master question, which is, if you wish you knew one thing about, insert the name of the pump, before picking it, what would it be? Now, if you are using an insulin pump and you are watching this video, please go down to the comments and answer that question. What is the one thing you wish you knew about your pump before picking it? It could be a very positive thing, it could be a neutral thing, or it could be a bad thing. Also, if this person on Instagram or Twitter or whatever you message in them, it's like, where did you get my information from that I'm using this pump? Just tell them that I told you to DM them and send them the link to this video. Also read up about future updates. Maybe a brand new pump will be available where you live very shortly, or maybe an update to an existing pump will be available soon. For example, Tandem updates uh, their physical pump with new software all the time. Maybe that's something that's coming to you shortly. It is easy to stay up to date with nonprofits like Diatribe. Their blog is absolutely incredible. I'm going to put a link to it in the description or shameless plug and my monthly diabetes technology report where I talk about the newest updates, the newest rollouts um, on this YouTube. So now you're probably thinking, I know that this pump is definitely not for me and this one might be and that's great. Now, please speak to your healthcare professional. They are here to help you. Tell them why you think this pump is definitely not for you, why it doesn't fit your lifestyle, or why this one does. And make sure you come together to pick your insulin pump. So I hope this video has been helpful. I hope some of the things that I mentioned maybe are things that you haven't thought about before. Um, I hope it's been useful. And um, please let me know how it goes in the comments. I would love to hear from you. So uh, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you find it useful. And um, yeah, I will see you next time. And uh, remember to subscribe for more videos about diabetes tech. Thanks so much for watching. All the best. Stay safe. Bye bye. Also, you might have noticed this t-shirt that I was wearing for this video. It's really, really cool and it was gifted to me. If you want to check it out, link is in the video description. 20% of international orders are donated to charities, including uh, Tidepool. You can use code NERDABETIC, uh, and if you do that, if you order as the 10th, 50th, or 100th person, your entire order, including shipping, will be refunded.